Good morning everyone, it's Amanda. It's the 8th of April 2019 and I am going to do a video on Twin Flames today. Didn't think I was going to do a video on Twin Flames but it's just the energy is completely calling. I'm feeling it in my heart and I'm feeling it in my throat. It's like I've got this great big lump in my throat energetically. Funnily enough, just got the all clear from the doctor. I've got nothing wrong with my thyroid. So I was being prodded by the doctor at um, 8.30 this morning and yeah, absolutely fine. No problem. Um, and then all of a sudden it's just like, oh my God, but the energy, I'm just feeling it here in my throat. I have to say something. Um, today is the 8th. So the 8 is the symbol of infinity, isn't it? The symbol of infinity is often something that's linked into the twin flame energy eternal, all-encompassing love, love that endures beyond dimensions, um, between lifetimes, that endures uh, decades of separation, that endures sometimes a whole lifetime, never either coming together or coming back together. Um, I don't do many Twin Flame videos, um, but I do do them to honour the people that watch me that are Twin Flames. And equally, it's something that I am personally invested in myself. You can work that out for yourself. Um, what I mean by that. So I've said before on previous videos what I feel. I will just say one thing, which I think is important to say again, because every time I do a video, it comes up in the comments and the comment comments always come through, which is something along the lines of, oh, no, no, you know, um, Twin Flame isn't about necessarily the other person. It's not about the other person coming into union with that person. Well, I understand that because absolutely it's not just about coming into union. It's about the learning. It's about the gifts. It's about the journey. Um, but there is another person involved if you're in a Twin Flame connection. They do actually exist. They are either your divine masculine or your divine feminine counterpart, dependent on who you are, um, what your sexuality is, what your sex is. You know, it doesn't it doesn't matter. Um, but also it's a journey which is about uniting your own divine feminine and your own divine masculine within yourself. And I think sometimes people think it's either or. It's either that it's that it's about uniting my male and female and coming to peace with that, learning to love myself or it's about the focus on the other person. Um, focus isn't the right word, spotlight on the other person. What can I learn? What can I receive? It's both, okay, it's both. It's about the other person, it's also about you. So it's a great and fascinating journey. It's also a very painful journey. And today it just feels particularly raw for whatever reason. So I was told to look at it, okay? So um, I have got, a couple of decks here. I'm going to use the White and Saunders deck, um, which looks like this. It's a tarot deck, White and Saunders tarot deck. My friend uh, Donna Maxine White um, created those with somebody called Andrew Saunders. Don't know Andrew, but I know Donna. She's got a great heart. They're good cards. Haven't actually used them for a while, but they were winking at me last night. And I was thinking, hmm, I wonder what, what, what do you want? That's this video. And I've also got one of um, Mystic Moon's Oracle decks, um, Angela at Mystic Moon. I'll put the links below for both of them. Uh, I'm not entirely sure what this one's called because she's got a lot of different decks. I think it's probably just called the Mystic Moon Oracle, um, but maybe just double check that you're getting this deck if it's resonating. And I'm bringing in some color energies as well. Can you hear that? a bit of Matthew Manning in the background. Felt like I needed a bit of music today. So I'm just bringing in the energy of the Holy Grail via Aura Soma. Beautiful green energy. Look at that. Doesn't that look like nectar? That just speaks straight to my heart. And we've also got the energy, I've already sprayed these, of Mary Magdalene and Christ. These are energies that I use and that we make. Let's just um, spray them again. Mary Magdalene first. Opening up to her wisdom. And Christ. Okay. The last really, really big sign that I personally got linked into Twin Flame 
was when I um, did a Mary Magdalene workshop in New York last November. And since then it's all gone very quiet in terms of connection and um, even signs. I've noticed within the Twin Flame community online there's been a little bit of um, talking about It's not just that it's hard because the path is often hard, the twin flame path, it's just that almost to the point of giving up with it, you know, is this really real, is this, is this a figment of my imagination, is this true, is it worth it, can I just please get off the path, I suspect that will resonate with quite a lot of you. Of course we can't get off the path if we've signed up for it but it is difficult and it's as though we're really being tested at this moment in time. Whether that's because some breakthrough is about to happen or whether it's just for any other reason, I don't know, but that's what this reading is really gonna look at, okay? So first off, let's just have a look at the general energies, shall we, around Twin Flame collective energy at the moment. Just put my camera down a little bit so you can see the cards ish anyway so let's let's have um current energy please metatron and i would just like three cards to start with just very general the general energy in the collective linked into twin flames you're welcome to watch this if you're not a twin flame you're welcome to watch this if you haven't got any idea what i'm going on about um but really this is primarily for people that have been on this path a while and um, I've been working with it. Okay, this one's for you. Or oh, I will just say before I pull the cards, I lit this candle and um, it's a lovely pink color as you can see. So I thought that's the one we need for today. And it's got two, two wicks and only one of the wicks would light. In fact, the other one um, was just as, the wick was just as long and it should have lit perfectly fine. And it hasn't, if anything, it's sort of sunk into the wax. Metatron saying it's one of the one of the two people in the in the in the connection, whether it's the divine masculine or the divine feminine, is feeling as though they are in quicksand. Thank God I've never been in quicksand. I hope I never am in quicksand. But what I know about quicksand is that the more that you move and the more that you struggle, um, the deeper you get stuck. Okay. And actually, it's really, really easy to say, oh, it's the divine masculine that is wading around in that quicksand. But I'm sensing it could, that isn't necessarily the case. I mean, it may be, but I'm feeling there's a lot of divine feminines that are actually feeling like that at the moment. Um, and the fact that it wouldn't light, I tried it two or three times. It will not light. I might try it again in a moment. Oh, let me try it now. But the thing is, when I was trying to light it before, you know, I often get songs. Um, this is Metatron that gives the songs. And I got the song, um, Come On Baby, Light My Fire. Uh, Come on baby, light my fire. Did a set, set the world on fire. Who's, who did that? Who, who did that song? Wasn't Arthur Brown, was it? And the crazy, wasn't Arthur Brown? Anyway, you'll tell me, but that's the song I got. So it's like, there's this message here, come on baby, light my fire, okay? I can't do it on my own. I'm actually drowning in quicksand here. So let's just see if I can light it. Ow. Hey, see? See what I do for you all? Burning myself? I'm not gonna be able to light this. I'm, I know it's not gonna work. No, okay, it's not meant to light. Fair enough. But where there's a will, there's a way. I will get, I'll get a lighter to that later. Don't, do you not worry. Okay, let's have three cards then, Metatron. Current energy. Twin flame. In the, the twin flame collective, where are we at? Where are we at? Interesting card to just fallen out of the deck. The seven of swords. Now, traditionally, the seven of swords is the card of um, being in denial um lies cheating manipulation but it came upside down now i always say i always read the cards intuitively i don't know you might you know so don't i'm not a traditional tarot reader my interpretation of this card upside down has just fallen out of the pack is actually saying that the lies and the um manipulation is over uh which is actually rather nice to see 
there's been an awful lot over the years of both parties being in denial. Do I truly feel this? Is this real? I said this at the start. Is this real? Is this just all made up? Um, denying their feelings, basically, for their counterpart. And to me, the Seven of Swords coming upside down like that is saying the denial and the lies are over. So it feels as though there is just this awakening to truth. Doesn't mean that it's going to be easy, but it does feel as though there is this awakening to truth. Let's pull two other cards that go with that. Apologies for my dog. Don't ever apologize for your dog, Metatron saying. Very true. Do you know, there's almost something in that message. Bella always gives me a message when she does that because I'm actually feeling the messages. Don't ever apologize for what and who you have in your life. Sometimes with um, connections that are trying to come back together, that we all have baggage. You know, there are very few twin flame counterparts that don't have some form of baggage um, and, and responsibilities. It's not just about baggage, it's about responsibilities and things that are dear to them, things that they love. That may very well be animals, it may be pets, it's very likely children as well. And it's as though I come with all of that, okay? I come with all of that and you come with all of whatever you've got as well. Um, you come with baggage and you come with responsibilities and you come with blessings. And it's very much this energy of just take me as I am, this, this is who I am, this is my life. Um, and it feels as though there's a realisation on both parts that uh, that's, that's part of the deal, basically. Um, so it's, about, it's not denying any part of who you are or what is in your life. Um, jobs, responsibilities would also come into that as well, roles that we play. Okay, let's see. Another two cards to go with that. So this is just the overall general energy around the Twin Flame Collective at this time. Oh, wow, look at that. That's the Rebirth card. <laughs> Can you hear that music? I'm not turning it off. I'm sorry if you don't like it, but I need that music today. I don't know if that came across on the video, but as I put the card of Rebirth out, it was like the waves crashing against the shore. That's what it felt like. Thank God, you know, finally Rebirth. Okay, let's see. One other card. And the Five of Wands, okay? The Five of Wands. Um, so to me, the Five of Wands is very much about, um, even though we are starting to see the truth, even though the lies are starting to fade, even though we're in a, a place of rebirth, there's still some jockeying for position, okay? That card to me, if, you, if I put it up to the light, there's still some jockeying for position, okay? It's Punch and Judy. Um, there's, there's a little bit of, um, I'm just going to turn it down a little bit, hold on. <laughs> Great CD, but I think we've, uh, I think we had the effect that we were needing, which was the crashing waves. Um, if I put that up to the light, okay, you can see that, so that's Punch and Judy, it's like a UK thing. Um, used to see these at the end of the pier and it would be their puppets basically and they used to bash the living daylights, daylights out of each other but what's so funny is there always used to be this crocodile that came up with, uh, with sausages I know this sounds ridiculous to people that aren't British but anyway and the crocodile would always come up and he'd just go sausages, sausages it's al almost about sort of don't take it too seriously you know um, don't Don't take your worries and your fears as seriously as you are. That's what I'm feeling these are. I actually feel that these two figures are, are our worries and our fears on both parts. Okay, so this is the divine masculine's fears. This is the divine feminine fears. And it's as though, oh gosh, you know, even though the rebirth energy is here, it's just, I'm still so worried, you know, what, what's going to happen? Um, how can it manifest? Um, are we are we going to kick the living daylights out of each other? You know, he's actually kicking there. There's, is it her? No, it's him. He's kicking her. 
he's also kicking her and it's almost like he's kicking her in the he's kicking her in the heart actually I don't know if you can see it on the picture he's kicking her in the heart so there's this worry that's coming through <clears throat> from the divine feminine here which is that is he going to hurt me again okay is he going to hurt me um as maybe he has before um and really then we've got that silly little crocodile with the sausages hanging out saying out of its mouth saying oh for goodness sake lighten up you know lighten up you two you know this is just puppet show this isn't um <clears throat> this isn't real is what i want to say this is uh i know donna when she um she's read for me before with these cards and she calls this mock fighting so it's not really real it's, it's slightly illusionary so the fears and the stresses that they're illusionary um okay let's put those three cards just up there and let's take a look at the Divine Masculine now and then take a look at the Divine Feminine. OK, so let's please have Metatron um, four cards linked into the energy with the Divine Masculine at this time. I'm going to stick with this deck for the moment and then we'll use the other cards of Angela's as clarifiers. OK, so where is the Divine Masculine at this time? Four cards, please the star finally the the divine masculine has got hope he's got hope in his heart that this could possibly happen okay um also i'm hearing the song wish upon a star wish upon a star there's a lot of um there are wishes there are wishes and intentions and dreams um that are coming into the divine masculine's energy at this time so we've got the energy of the star. Let's see what else we've got. Divine Masculine's energy, Metatron. Divine Masculine's energy. Divine Masculine's energy. The Nine of Swords. So even though feeling as though there is hope, um, I want it, I dream it, I dream about it, I wish upon a star, but yet I can't quite get to it. I'm behind bars. Whether that is um, literal or symbolic, uh, I'm not sure. Let's just have a look. Two more cards, please. Divine Masculine Energy. But I'll tell you what I am feeling with that card. I think that's come up before. But even though I can't quite yet get to you, I'm not going to stop looking. It's as though I'm not going to take my eyes off what is outside. Because what, out what is outside is what I actually want. I don't want to be here in this cell anymore. I don't want to be trapped. I want a way out. And I feel as though I'm not going to stop looking out of these bars because what is outside of the bars is what I actually want. And I will keep looking out until I'm old and grey. I will never give up. I will never give up on the dream. I will never give up on hope. I will never give up on you. I will never give up on the possibility of us. Two more cards. Divine Masculine's Energy, Metatron. The Ten of Cups. That's what he wants. I'm saying he. Obviously, we know Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine can be interchangeable. OK, so whoever's holding the masculine energy, this is what I want. This is what I want. The rainbow, the happy ever after, you and me, the family home, all of that. That's what I want. One more card, Divine Masculine's energy at this time, please. Oh, now I'm going to put those back in. Three fell out. Just one. Oh, OK, we're going to take that one. Yeah, that makes sense. The Ten of Wands. OK, the Ten of Wands. Um, it's hard work. It's hard work at the moment. I'm pushing this. I feel as I'm doing all the work on my own. Um, I actually feel this is the Divine Masculine saying, actually feeling as though he's been a little bit abandoned energetically. Um, I think a lot of divine feminines got to the place recently. I'm talk when I'm talking recently, I'm talking last few months or so, where because I haven't, haven't necessarily been able to see any progress or any signs, it's as though it's just like, oh, 
you know, can't, I can't be doing with this. I'm just going to get on with my life. And indeed, the very last Twin Flame video that I did, do you remember I talked about the fact that you can't just hang around at that crossroads waiting forever. You've got to get on with your life. And I think that some of us have got on with our life to such a degree that even though they're still in our hearts, um, energetically they haven't felt us either as strongly as they used to be able to. So it feels as though they've had to do all the work on their own. Um, although there's part of me that thinks, well, I'm also wanting to say good <laughs> because that's the truth. You know, they had to do it all on their own at this, at, at, at this juncture. But of course there is help there and it's in the spirit of this beautiful horse. So I'm not really feeling that it's about the divine feminine have to, having to come back and rescue and help push the cart up the road. It's more about the fact that the divine masculine needs to realise that to get himself out of this situation, um, it's going to take work. And actually there is assistance there. There's divine assistance in the shape of the horse. Okay, so if, if um, they are going to achieve the dream of what they want, union, love, all of that, all of the good stuff. Okay, let's have a look at where the uh, divine feminine is then. This should be interesting, shouldn't it? Where is the divine feminine? In relation obviously to this connection so let me have four cards please Metatron where is the divine feminine with regard to this connection where is the divine effect with where is the divine feminine with regard to this connection please give me four cards the seven of Pentacles the four of wands The Page of Pentacles, and one more card for the Divine Feminine at this time, her current energy, please, Metatron. No. Nope. Justice. Okay, so there's some karma um, that is uh, currently being negotiated, um, dealt with, worked through, and it's inescapable is what I'm hearing okay so karmic situations things coming up to be balanced um, legalities uh, also around her um, I also feel that the card of justice here is linked into the fact that she's trying to be fair to herself fair to all parties um, if she's with a karmic partner trying to be fair to them as well trying to be fair, trying to balance everybody, trying to juggle everything, basically. Um, it does feel, I don't know whether it's meant to be, but to me that very much looks like um, the goddess Isis. I've got a statue of Isis somewhere in my room. Um, and Isis is the one which helps women. I mean, she helps women in many ways, but she helps women to, to juggle, to be able to juggle work and home and love and um, being a mother, um, all, all of the things that we, we have to do as Divine Feminine and feeling as though the Isis energy is very strongly there supporting her as she tries to balance all of it, but definitely a lot of karma around as well that is being cleared, worked through. The others, I mean, the Four of Wands, the Four of Wands to me is always a card that links into the Twin Flame Union. So that to me is just stating that, yes, you know, it never went anywhere, even though there was an energy which is sort of like, I'm just washing my hands of this. This is never going to go anywhere. Uh, I'm sick and tired of being at that crossroads. I'm moving on. All the things I've said before in other videos, um, ultimately in her heart, of course, she knows she can never truly move on inside because the uh, divine masculine is a part of her uh, whether or not they ever reunite is immaterial they will always be a part of her seven of pentacles um yeah she's just been getting on with what she's meant to be doing she's actually there we've got a person they're up the tree up a ladder they're collecting all the fruit there's abundance um, and we've got two pentacle cards page of pentacles and the seven of pentacles 
And to me, to have two pentacle cards being represented here for the Divine Feminine says to me she's been doing exactly what really we, we talked about in the last video. She's been getting on with her life. She's been getting on with her work. She has been growing abundance, whatever that means, um, in whatever area of life that means. And she's starting to reap the rewards of that. She's also starting to reap the rewards. Look at that beautiful um, basket of fruit that's overflowing. She's starting to reap the rewards of her own um, self-care, of looking after herself a bit more, of realising that she's the, she, she has to be more independent in this whole dynamic. Um, because what twin flames cannot be is codependent. They have to be able to, um, they're, they're two independent energies that stand together as one. Um, let's have a look now. Let's pull some of um, the other deck. Let's have two cards from Angela. Um, let's ask for a clarification card with regard to the Divine Masculine to start with. Okay, so clarification card for the Divine Masculine at this time, please clarification for the Divine Masculine at this time. Pause. Okay, pause. We've got pause. Pause isn't necessarily a bad thing at all. Pause is about breathing. Okay, breathing. Um, steadiness. Pause also implies that you're pausing before you do something. Okay, Pause doesn't exist in isolation. Pause is something you do in between having stopped something and being about to start something. Hearing that very, um, very clearly. Let's have one more card linked into the Divine Masculine Energy. So pause. Divine Masculine. In terms of this connection, where are they at? third party you, you see they twin flames always mirror each other so again they are still or well, some of some of you that are watching this uh, there's a third party still in the picture okay a karmic partner um although actually it's quite interesting that it came up next to pause third part third party and pause um for some people not for everybody i feel as though there is a an energy of taking a pause on that relationship or pausing to think about the third party. You see, this all this all comes with the territory of this first card that we got. You can we can no longer lie, okay? Can no longer lie to ourselves. The truth is what the truth is. I feel what I feel. I can't deny how I feel anymore in relation to my twin flame connection. And so if that is the case, and if I am in relationship, this is from the masculine's perspective then I have, to have a, I have to pause and reflect and think about this third party relationship that I'm in, okay? The karmic relationship that I'm in. Um, what does that mean? It's gonna be different for everybody, but at least it's about starting to truly look in the mirror and see the truth of situations, okay? Let's have two cards here linked into the Divine Feminine. Two cards of the Divine Feminine, please. Forgiveness. Interesting. So that's the card of forgiveness. This bottle here, it's a Calamira's bottle. This is the bottle of forgiveness. It's number 22. And funnily enough, this is on my desk because I was doing some session work with somebody else recently. Well, yesterday. And I was just recording a session for somebody and it came up about forgiveness. So that bottle is left over from um, yesterday's session. And I rejigged all my desk, changed my sprays, new flowers. And I thought, hmm, still need this. I didn't quite understand why I still needed it. But I thought, no, that still needs to sit on my desk today. And now I realise that the Divine Feminine is being asked to look into forgiveness. Um, let me just get another card to go with that so we can take it a bit deeper. I mean, look, can you see it's exactly the same colour? don't know whether you can see it, but it's 
it's not really showing particularly well on, on, on my camera, but that beautiful sort of magenta pink is the colour of this uh, bottom bottom half of the bottle. And let me just explain. Um, the bottom colour is what is in our subconscious. The top colour is what is in our conscious mind. So there is this paler colour in the subconscious and it links to the energy of forgiveness. So there's something bubbling up. Um, whether the Divine Feminine is being asked to forgive herself for something or whether she's being asked to forgive her Divine Masculine, I'm not quite sure. Let's just ask for some clarification on that. What goes with the Forgiveness card, please, for the Divine Feminine? What goes with the Forgiveness card? Metamorphosis. And on the bottom of the pack, we've got cycles. I'd almost quite like to put, oh, and then we've got understanding. I'm going to take both of those. And then we've got commitment. Okay, um, I'm going to take those three and put those in the middle. They were on the bottom of the pack. I'll tell you why. The truth is that for um, reconnection to happen, one party has to be able to completely transform to metamorphosize size into something else. From, cat from caterpillar to butterfly, as a butterfly flies past my window. Um, and for some, not for all of you, but for some, the Divine Feminine are stuck as well. They're, they're, they're probably stuck also within some sort of karmic situation. We had the card of karma, didn't we? May very well be with the third party as well. And it's almost like asking forgiveness from the Divine Masculine. I'm sorry that it's taking me so long. I'm sorry that it's taking me so long to transform. That's not going to be true for all of you that are watching, but it is true for some of us, okay? I'm sorry it's taking me so long to be able to, um, to free myself, basically, to transform so that I am even available. And then you see the card that was on the bottom of the pack was the card of understanding. It's almost as though it's coming from the Divine Feminine to the Divine Masculine, but it could come the other way as well, to be perfectly honest. Remember, both people mirror each other. There's this thing about, please just try and understand. Please try and understand and, and forgive me for the fact that this transformation is, is taking such a long time. And then we've got the card of cycles, okay? And then ultimately, we have the card of commitment, okay? Um... <laughs> Hold on, I'm going to pause the camera. What did I just say about my dog always has a message when she barks? So, this is perfect. I was just talking about the fact that please have understanding that it's taking me a while to change, to transform, to free myself so that a new cycle can begin and commitment can ultimately come in between you and me. Dog starts barking. Dog starts barking because a lady has just brought two, two confidence sprays to my door. I make sprays myself, you know that. And um, there's another lady who just lives quite near me who does um, sprays for children. I do children's sprays as well. So um, this is a spray that's for my daughter. Um, and I've bought it before. Last night I ordered two of them. For some reason I ordered two. Can you see how perfect that is? They're not actually for me, but equally they're for my daughter. But the point is, they're also for the Divine Masculine and the Divine Feminine. Both partners, both people need confidence to be able to um, take the next step, basically. But I'll tell you what, the energy feels very different from last time I looked at it. Very, very different. There's definitely been a move forward. Um, so it's, it's, it's looking better than it was. Um, I'm going to ask now for some guidance for both people. So this is where we're at. Let's have a look at self-care. Okay, let's have a look at self-care. And I've actually got um, an oracle deck here. It's called the Self Love Oracle by Janet Chui. I'll put the link below, and I'm going to pull a card for each each person. So, firstly, um, a card for the Divine Feminine. I've still got her energy with me. So, the Divine Feminine. What guidance is there at this time, please, in terms of how she's supposed to be looking after herself? 
one energy that's going to be supportive to the divine feminine at this time just one that one conquer your fear <laughs> okay there's a transference of fear here um th there's a lot of fear within the divine feminine energy at this time conquer your fear it says most fear is based on illusion lies that we tell ourselves to avoid change release your need for complete control or perfection just do your best i suspect that one or two divine feminine energies uh, or divine feminines out there um can be a little bit controlling in terms of it's, it's it needs to be this way or this needs to happen before that happens um and it's never going to be a case of a b c d e f g in a straight line with the twin flame path it's going to be different pieces of the jigsaw that you get um and it's about going with the flow so conquer fear conquer fear uh is the is the energy that the we've got for the divine feminine let's have a look at what we've got for the divine masculine hmm. one for the divine masculine okay that's just fallen out what's that remove toxicity so the divine masculine has got an energy which is about remove toxicity and it says we are only treated bad as badly as we allow ourselves to be pay attention to your physical and your emotional health and reduce your toxic burdens i actually want to tie that into third party i think for some divine masculines they're in relationships where the their partner is not particularly treating them well um, you could read that on many different levels. It might be just in terms of ignoring their needs, um, incompatibility. You know, maybe they were compatible, but now they're not. But it's this thing about um, actually the energy that they're living in or around linked into the third party actually feels quite toxic now. Um, and again, because we had that energy of the Seven of Swords, it's like I can't deny it anymore. I, I feel it. I feel it in my gut. I feel it in my heart. I know that it's not right. I can't bury my head in the sand for too much longer. Or if I do, um, I, I'm, it's, it's starting to have an effect on me now. It's actually becoming quite toxic um, because it talks about we are only treated as badly as we allow ourselves to be. So that implies to me it is about a person. It's about a person. It could also be linked into the other thing I want to say linked into that message we just got via Bella um, and the confidence sprays is confidence linking into the inner child for both people, for both the divine feminine and the divine masculine. There is inner child wounding. The feminine, her inner child is wounded because she's too frightened to fully transform and move on to the next cycle she's frightened it's her inner child that is frightened the um divine masculine is frightened his inner child is frightened to move on from being around situations or people that he knows are now hurting him hurting him at quite a deep level okay um just going to think about what the other question is I need to ask on this video. <clears throat> Let's just bring in the energy of Mary Magdalene. The, the, the signs that she brought through in November were so incredible. Her and Christ, I believe, were twin flame energies. So Let's just see what Mary wants to bring through. That you are worthy that you are worthy, that you are both worthy, that the connection that you and they ultimately can create upon this earth is divine, is sacred, is destined and will happen. You cannot actually hold it back. feeling great strength and power from her, a woman who 
absolutely understood her her true power her uniqueness her specialness her beauty her wisdom who was tough who faced all sorts of hardships and those who didn't understand her, who persevered. It's like her energy coming through for the divine feminine is you can do this. You can do this. Keep going. Let's put her energy there. Let's go to the energy of Christ for the divine masculine. feel he's going to be helped, the Divine Masculine around, um, I was going to say Easter and then it went to Christmas, maybe both, I was thinking Easter, but I'm also, I was also here in Christmas, which I know is a way off, but hey, we're already into April, so the energy of Christ for the Divine Masculine, let down your cross, let down your burdens, let down your suffering, let your inner child come to me, remember Christ always said, let, let the children come to me, He's saying, let your child come to me. The masculine's inner child is very wounded. Maybe they grew up with um, very dysfunctional parents. Maybe they weren't properly parented. Um, maybe they had lots of problems with either a mother or a father. And um, as a result, it's impeded what they believe love can be they don't they want to believe they want to believe in this but they were never shown it and so there's no template there's no role model to follow so the energy of Christ and Mary together are saying we modeled it and most people don't even know that we modelled it because it's been written out. You won't find it in the New Testament. What you'll find in the New Testament is Mary regarded as a prostitute. You won't, you won't read anything in the New Testament about sacred union between divine masculine and divine feminine. And yet it happened. So it's as though he's saying there is a template. There is a template. Christ's energy. Let's just put Christ's energy now into the connection, the twin flame energy. Uh, he's just showing me the, um, he's showing me the Holy Grail. I mean, this is, this is an energy linked into the Holy Grail, the cup, the chalice. Drink of it, the drink of the Holy Chalice. It's symbolic. What's in the Holy Chalice isn't blood, it's water. It's eternal water. Water is linked into life. You can't have life without water. Sip from the chalice, he's saying, to both feminine and masculine. Believe. Yeah, believe. Okay, right, I've got a little space here. I'm going to fill it now with a few final cards, a few final messages. And um, let's have three from this deck and we'll have three from the White and Saunders tarot deck. So what am I going to ask? I want to keep it very open-ended actually. I'm going to just ask... Um, I'm just going to ask for another message, okay? Because otherwise it gets too sort of your boxing spirit in the whole time. Oh, what well, did you see that? Those have just fallen out. <laughs> Can't make that stuff up. Three have just fallen out. Oh my God. Do you want to see? Wow. I'm a bit speechless. Can you see what that says? Destruction. 
return and union. Something has to die, something has to be released, something has to be destroyed for this to happen. Union and my return. At, no, not my return, our return, our return. Sort of don't, I don't know I don't have words because to be honest the cards say it all just look at those let's have now some clarifications underneath them so let's have a clarification card for return please no let's start with destruction let's start with that one in the middle destruction something has to give something has to blow the tower has to fall for this union to come in if it's not complete union, it's about getting closer to it. Although we have got the card of return, so it does feel as though for some people it is, it's definitely going to happen. I don't want to build everybody's hopes up because it's unlikely that every single twin flame out there is going to come back into union. Um, but for some, yes, it's there. But for that to happen, we've got destruction. Oh, okay. And what goes with destruction is the hanged man. So there needs to be a change of mindset, um, but it feels as though there is a change of mindset. That's what I'm just feeling. There is a change of mindset. It's coming around, whether we like it or not. Um, what goes with destruction is the hanged man. There needs to be a different perspective. It's as though something happens to change that perspective. Um, something comes in to reverse the thinking that there has been, which is that this cannot happen. Um, okay, let's have another clarification card, please, for the other two. Let's have one for union. What goes with union? Oh, wow. What goes with union is the three of swords. Something has to end for union to come in. That was the first card we got, didn't, didn't we? I think we got that card. At the start, something has to end for union to come in. Something has to be looked at from a completely different perspective for union to come in. Something has to destruct for union to come in. One other card, please, linking to return. Linking into return. The energy of return. Before I pull the card, I'm just tuning in and I'm feeling that they're already reaching out in dream state very much, very, very strongly. They're already dream they're already reaching out in the astral. Um, but yet some of us can't feel that. I'll ask about that in a moment. Hold on a minute. What goes with return? The six of wands. The six of wands goes with return. Um, I'm going to go for a non-traditional meaning of the Six of Wands here. I work with the energy of Archangel Metatron. Archangel Metatron, um, the very traditional um, Google image of Metatron, I haven't got it to hand. He's dressed in purple and above his head he has Metatron's cube, which looks like this. Hold on. I've got my crystals on it. Looks like that. Okay, so above Metatron's head usually you've got Meta, you've got metatron's cube and it's placed above the head because what it does is it it comes down and it purifies the chakras like that it comes down in a swirling movement and purifies the chakras and it comes down from the crown and no not the crown it comes down from the stellar gateway which is the chakra above the soul star okay above the crown and it comes down in this sort of swirling energy and you can ask Metatron to do this and he'll bring Metatron's cube through your body through your energetic body and what it does is it cleanses and it removes it removes the fear it removes the toxicity it removes what is old and it feels very important that for return to be boosted the chances of return to be boosted that you work with the cube and 
it is a case of bringing it down through all of the chakras. So we could just do that. I'm not going to spend 20 minutes doing it. I will just do it very quickly for you and then you can do it for longer when you're on your own. And I'm just wondering which colour I need to go with that. Um, gold. Gold I'm hearing. Okay, let's go and get a gold spray. I'm actually going to use one of our children's sprays and it's called Fear Fighter. Okay, you see that Fear Fighter? Because I said to you that some of these blocks um, are linked into both the Divine Masculine and the Divine Feminines in a child. So let's bring down the Fear Fighter energy, which is just, I'm going to remove anything that is that belongs to the vibration of fear. So spraying that above my head and above your head welcoming in a beautiful yellow gold energy. Feel that, sense that. And then imagining above your crown, the symbol of Metatron's cube. And what it does is it works its way down through you, through your stellar gateway, through your soul star, Metatron's cube spiralling down into your crown and your third eye. Beautiful golden light flowing down. Flowing down into your throat. Flowing down into your altar major. Golden yellow light. Metatron's cube flowing down into your heart. Yellow golden light illuminating your heart, opening up yellow golden light flowing down into your solar plexus, clearing out all of that gunk, all of that fear, all of that heaviness, welcoming in the light, Metatron's cube flowing down into your sacral, Metatron's cube flowing down into your base, Metatron's cube flowing down your legs, into your knees, into your ankles, into your feet feeling the cube as it spirals all the way down through you and it's as then it comes out through the feet and it grounds itself into your earth star chakra which is underneath you and as it flows down through you and into the earth it takes away the fears it takes away the blocks and it brings in clarity strength and love Let's look again at the Six of Wands, okay? So, above the head, work down through the body. Can you see here we've got um, a maypole? Well, I don't know whether this is all countries that have maypoles, but certainly in the UK, where I'm making this from, if you're lucky, you might still find a, vi a, li a little village that does a maypole dance. That takes us into the energy of May, okay? That's May. It's called a maypole and of course people dance around the maypole and it's very it's very light filled and loving and it reminds me of childhood because I remember doing it as a child. So we're being taken into the energy of May. There's something that feels as though it starts to um, transform in May. Okay. Um, I'm just wondering whether there's anything else to say. It feels pretty complete, actually, this this reading. Um, yeah, you see, fear. We've got fear. But we know that. It's, it's normal to be fearful if something has to destruct and be let go of to allow in this new cycle. Um, any other guidance, Metatron, please? Any other guidance? Any other guidance for those twin flames that are watching this? Almost like pick up the phone, actually, you know? Pick up the phone, write the letter, write the email, send the text. Start something, start something, initiate something, contact. Not for everybody received okay yeah 
because I was actually, I, I personally strongly feel that divine feminines that have been waiting for goodness knows how long for a message, I don't personally think you should be the ones picking up the phone. It's more that you can send a message with your, um, with your mind, telepathy, okay? You can send a message with your heart. You can send a message via your dreams, but the, the me it's saying the message is then received. So start communicating again with each other. If there's been a block, um, open up to that. And um, it could be different for everybody in terms of the form that that needs to take. Um, I'm certainly not recommending that divine feminines are the ones that rush in again to help uh, the divine masculine because I, I truly believe that he has to do that work on his own. But I feel that he is, it's, it's happening. There's, there's, there's a shift that is definitely occurring. Um, and it makes sense now of that sort of raw emotion that I was feeling earlier connected into all of this. So, um, namaste. Good work, everybody. I hope that helped you. Uh, the energy in my throat, I was feeling a lump before I did that, it's totally gone. So the message has gone. Hopefully the message has been received by you and I hope, hope it helped you on your journeys. Much love. Bye bye for now.